Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today, we will be solving system of equations by elimination, or more specifically, by combinations with multiplication. Now, before watching this video, make sure that you have watched our previous video on solving system of equations by elimination. It will be linked in the description below, as well as on the top right-hand corner of your screen. So in the previous video, we talked about when the coefficients of one variable are opposites or identical, and we can add the equations or we can subtract the equations to make one of the variable drop out. Now, if the coefficients of the variable are neither identical nor opposite, we can still use combinations, but we need to do a little work first. So in this next two examples, we don't have variables with opposite or identical coefficients. So we need to multiply one or both of the equations so that we do have a opposite or identical pair of coefficients. So in this equation or system of equations here, we only need to multiply one of the equations since the one over here is a factor of four and the three is a factor of nine. So we can either multiply this bottom equation by 4 so that we can make the x's drop out or we can multiply the bottom equation by 3 so we can make the y's drop out. And it's easier to always multiply by the smallest um, number. So let's multiply by 3. So we multiply by 3, we're left with 3 times x or 3x 3 times negative 3y or negative 9y equals negative 6 times 3 or negative 18. And if I rewrite this equation right here, we will be ready to add the equations together since we have opposite coefficients of the same variable. Now, if you don't know how to work, or how to solve the system of equations from here, go check out our previous video where we show you how to finish off the system of equations from here. Now, this next equation, we don't have any factors, so we need to multiply to get the least common multiple of one of the, or one pair of coefficients. So we can get the least common multiple of 3 and 5 so we can eliminate x values or we can get the least common multiple of negative 2 and negative 5. So let's do negative 2 and negative 5 since the least common multiple is 10. We, and it's also best if we have one of the equations as a positive x value and one as negative since so then we'll have opposite coefficients. So we can multiply the top equation by 5 to get negative 10y and we can multiply the bottom of the equation by negative 2 to get positive 10y. So if we do that we get 5 times 3x or 15x, 5 times negative 2y or negative 10y, and 5 times 2, or 10. And in the bottom of the equation, we'll get negative 2 times negative 5x, or negative 10x, negative 2 times negative 5y, or positive 10y, equals 10 times negative 2, or negative 20. And now we can add the two equations together since the coefficients are opposite. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.